Hello and welcome to the Kid and Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. And joining me right here today is Mark Melhern. Mark, how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks, Caden. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having so, us. So let's get started by getting to know you a bit and how you got started in the music industry. Sure. Well, uh, I was born in Toronto, Ontario, or just outside. Um that be Canada and uh I grew up there and then I went I sort of moved to uh Omaha Nebraska for a few years and I kicked around in Kansas and a little bit of Oklahoma for a little while and university down there and, and did a bit of ranch and stuff and uh I moved back closer to home and ended up over in the UK really um which is where I am now and that's the short version um in terms of music well unfortunately uh I don't do it as a full-time thing it's uh it'd be lovely to do that but I still got a real real job in the in the in the, the nine to five world um but I've always been kind of there or thereabouts um certainly singing since I've been old enough to and someone would listen to me i guess um and kind of went from there i was always the you know when there's bands to be had and no one wanted to sing so i guess i just had the enough uh courage to get up and do it when we're you know little kids and that it kind of stuck and that kind of put me in the the front man role and then obviously picking up guitar over the years and playing and uh yeah, just it just kind of went from there, and um, I played in lots of bands. I actually almost made a full time career out of it at the time, but um, but I like, like I said, country was always kind of there or thereabouts, and something I always wanted to do is yeah, I, I like the sort of Neil, obviously being Canadian. Neil Young was like you know an institution, so it it was kind of that as a young kid listening to old men and hearing that banjo and going. I, I don't know what that is, but I like it. You know, we're talking six, seven years old and kind of, you know, knowing that I I wasn't supposed to like country because I kind of, my family wasn't really into it. So I, I kind of always had that there. And then the mix of the elements of sort of the rock and the pop stuff is is, is when it sort of, you know, in the 90s when it started to become a bit more prominent, you know. Uh, and I always watched Johnny Cash and stuff as a kid on Hee Haw and all those sorts of shows. So it was like, it was, it was always like a sort of a secret kind of <laughs> uh, a love for it. And, um, and, and, you know, uh, and that, that's, and when I came to this country, weirdly enough is when I, you know, I fell back into it. And, um, you know, I met a couple of people who were into the sort of, sort of music and, and we just sort of went from there really. And, uh, you know, I played in a couple of good bluegrass bands, one of which we sort of just started up again. And I played sort of part time with them. And it's great. You know, a lot of old Crow Medicine show and a lot of John Prine and stuff like that. Just good old, good old, good songs that, you know, people can kind of dance and cry to, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, and, you know, for me, um, stepping back and that was probably through. I guess lockdown really. I had a whole bunch of songs which were never kind of in the same vein as I was as the band I was playing in, and they were you know a little bit more rocky, a little bit more kind of, you know mainstream kind of country. And um, lockdown gave me the opportunity to kind of sit down and just brain dump a lot of this stuff. And it, fortunately, some good stuff came out of it. And my mate who I used to sort of as a as a colleague in other bands kind of built a studio in lockdown and then i threw him some demos and he's like well, these are great and let's let's mix them and arrange them so i i spent once we were allowed to go outside again um we spent you know a few weeks doing that and and what sort of come out of it is it was obviously you know country strong and other songs which which uh which i'm quite proud of and uh you know, I, I'm the sort of person who, if I'm not happy with it, I'll just chuck it away. So mm -hmm. I got to believe in it sort of enough. I'm not just going to write a song for a song's sake. You know, if it's not something I believe in and something I believe is good, then I kind of, it gets lost and throw it away into the, the ether. So I'm just trying to get some traction now back with these songs and get out gigging them. Um, 
now that you know we're all free to do what we need to do and I've, I've had some time to kind of get it together so that's kind of where i am and i'm looking forward to kind of the year ahead and, and you know what that where that takes me musically so i think that's about me in a nutshell and mark if people want to learn more about you where can they find you um or see i'm on i'm on facebook it's just mark mulhern um, I think that's connected to Insta, which I don't really use. And I know I've been told I should in terms of socials. And um, I, I think I probably got somebody that was lined up to do all that sort of stuff for me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, pretty much those two. And um, obviously, um, you know, stop in and say hello. And, you know, I'm happy to answer questions and or share opinions or anything like that that comes along with it. So. If you had the opportunity to duet or collaborate with any singer, whether they're with us today or not, who would you choose and why would you choose them, Mark? Whoa. That's a hard one. Um, I mean, I love Brothers Osborne as like one of the newer kind of country acts. So I, I, mm -hmm. they'd probably be in this kind of Sturgill Simpson as well. I'd love, I'd love to. I'd love to be in his sort of brain or in his space for a few hours. Um, and like, I'd love to play with somebody like catch secure from, from old crow, old crow medicine show. You know, I probably those three, I guess I, I don't know if I could pick one. Um, so yeah, that, that, that I, sorry, I've, I've, I've taken the bonus prize and one. So <laughs> that that's the three I probably would. What advice would you give someone that might want to start doing music, whether that be singing or songwriting? What would you tell them? Well, just I, I'd say just go with your heart and um, don't second guess yourself. Uh, a lot of times when I was younger, there's periods where you don't do something or you don't forward with a song or, you know, and then looking back on it as a sort of grown up now, it's, you know, I, I, it, it's all of the things you wish you would have done instead of the, the stuff that you did. And um, that's one bit. And the other bit is just to, just to play and play and play and play as much as you can and, and meet as many people like-minded, whether they're players or just interested in music and, um, you know, just get yourself soaked in it completely. And that's, that's kind of the two bits of advice I'd give them. And do you have a message that you would like to tell your fans or my listeners? Just any message message in general? Yeah, just just be kind to each other. And, um, you know, we all have a, a common sort of platform, and that's music. So that's something that we should share together. And, um, yeah, just be nice to each other. And lastly, Mark, is there anything that I forgot to mention that that you would like to mention here on the show today? Uh, obviously you're going to give country strong spin, I think at some point, but, um, keep an eye out for the EP, which is on its way shortly. And I'll be sending stuff out on socials to kind of, um, start pre-sales and things on that in, in the coming week. Um, it's in production at the moment. I'm pretty excited about it. So, um, I hope everybody else that starts following and, and listening is as well. And, um, you know, I can't wait for them to hear it. Mark, thank you so much for taking the time to come on the Caden Gordon Show, today's best country mix. We definitely appreciate your time and support for being with us today. And uh, keep on doing great stuff and love your song. And uh, hope to talk to you again real soon. Great stuff. Thanks a lot, Caden.